Hi, I'm Eric Dewey from the Socially Awkward Studios, Science and Beer, and Her Majesty's Secret Podcast. And you're listening to another proud presentation of the Four Eyed Radio Network. Check out more shows at foureyedradio.com. Hey there, Eric here from Socially Awkward Studios. And this Four Eyed Radio presentation is being proudly brought to you by Raven Designs, illustration and design that fit your personality. For samples and inquiries, visit ravencruise.com. Fingertips Fire That's dark Rage Cage <laughs> Jesus What were we thinking? I uh, Well I did uh, What I had going on Is I had a uh, a whole thing of the darkness star. What's that star called? The pentagram of the devil. Uh, yeah, the pagan symbol. Yeah, and I lit candles all around me. I was naked. You uh, were there. Yeah. It was a good time. I, re- I remember that well. <laughs> we didn't even write this song then. That was just last Tuesday. Yeah, we were just hanging out. That's just a normal <laughs> ritual we do on Tuesday. I mean, that's what Tuesday's for, really. You paint a pagan symbol in blood, and you yeah. sit in it yeah. Indian style. Yeah. Life is good. I grabbed a cat from the, the back alley. Yeah. I murdered it. Yes. Spread its blood. Uh, yeah. Across across your chest. Okay. <laughs> Are that- <laughs> So you, you, you go you don't somewhere else. That? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, well, we took shrooms after that, so it's a little hazy. What is up, everybody? This is firm, and uh, it's no longer. We can't call it. We can't call it. Sorry, sorry for, for partying. Party regular. Yeah, we can call it firms. Mm, sorry, sorry for, for partying. partying. I guess the sorry for partying isn't a great hit on Google. I guess there's a lot of motherfuckers who are sorry for there's partying. There's a cover band in Chicago named Sorry for Partying. They probably suck balls. Actually, I, don't, I can't say that because yeah. maybe they're good. You don't even know them. Yeah, exactly. You don't know that. It's fucking... I'm sorry. Sorry, hey, sorry for partying. I'm sure you know what time amazing. it is, right? It's this time. That time. Mm, what you yeah. drinking on? Uh, well, I got Red Bull Vodka right now. I'm about to switch to P.S. Give me a little cheers. Cheers. Cheers to all you out there that are listening. To Tuesday. Yeah. Um, first, you know, I want to say welcome back. This is our third episode. Um, I'd like to thank Eric Dewey. Yeah. Um, he's He put us on a radio station. It's uh, Four-Eyed Radio. Four-Eyed Radio. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, I'll just post it on Facebook. So you people can just do it that way. It's yeah, easier. but he's bomb.com. I appreciate the opportunity. Um, we're going to be on there every Monday. It's going to be our new podcast. Yes. And we're going to talk about lots of lots of stuff that issues. you all love. Issues. Lots Today's issues. issues. Yeah. Um, and which brings us to our topic today, which is going a little crazy. That's the topic. Yes, sir. And that's, you know, the name of the song that we put a little snippet to at the beginning. And that's our def- song. We're both definitely going crazy in that song. Absolutely, absolutely. For, a little input on that song is we, John wrote it. Well, you want to jump into that, Nick? That's later on in the docket. Really? Okay. I feel you're like going to scare all the viewers away right you're now. You're right. Let's not get into <laughs> that just yet. <laughs> Let's let them listen to it. For let's let them listen to this for five minutes and then they can run away scared after we get into that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's we'll, not a pleasant song. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll start it off on a lighter note. Um, how was your week? It was great. Anything? I went to uh, Colorado to visit my sister in Denver. Went up in the mountains, did some paddle boarding. Uh, on a uh, lake. Did you smoke any any marijuana? It's very it's very legal up there. I smoked some marijuana. Yes. And it did was you go amazing. into a dispensary? No, I didn't. I had uh, you know, friends of friends who have plants. Oh, well, it, it's a, it's a, there's an abundance. Yeah. I, what from what I heard, there definitely <laughs> is an abundance. <laughs> How long did you go up there for? Uh, I was there for uh, three days. You know, quick little vacay. 
In and out. In and out. Kind of like my sex life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Did you get any? Did you get any fresh up there? No, it was uh, pretty much just family time. Oh, that's nice. But my sister's friend Jen is yeah. pretty fucking hot. Yeah. She's like forty-two, but she's still forty-two. There's no age on pussy. Well, ex- <laughs> I mean, there is. <laughs> I mean, it ages, but oh. it doesn't age like bread. Or, that would explain a lot then. Or milk. Or yogurt. Or yogurt. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard older the berry, sweeter the juice. Who mm. knows if that's true or not? Yeah, I yeah. didn't get to sample the berry or the juices. <laughs> so how's your job going? Uh, it's okay. Yeah, just, uh, bartending up. Yeah, you know, just uh, grinding it. Grind- get, hoagies get and to- grinders. Hoagies and grinders. Navy beans. Navy beans. Navy beans. We serve those. Yeah. No. Yeah. Grinders. Not, not, not Navy beans. <laughs> My job's going great. It's, it's awesome, and I don't sit in a cubicle. <laughs> and I don't have to talk to strange people and try to sell them office and business supplies that I, they don't give a flying fuck about. Hello, I work for Staples. Would you like some Staples? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, uh, yeah. Oh, God. I love my job. <laughs> you guys want some pins? It's just so hard being an artist. Yeah, and then having a nine to five fucking I wear I, I'm almost at a tie like I have a full suit just no tie yeah it's do you, you know how I'm have like the nine to five what that's what they call it I that's, don't it's, they call it a nine to five for a reason it's great for benefits and you know I have a family to support so yeah. that's good but the whole time I'm there I'm like fuck this shit yeah. I can only imagine. You know, I would I mean? never see. I I want to be doing this. I want to be writing music. I want to be f- jerking off. Yeah. Well, you can do all that. <laughs> I tried in your cube. Last last appointment I had, and they didn't buy for me. <laughs> That's <laughs> amazing that they didn't. <laughs> I'm like Tommy. Like, I'm like Tommy you're boy. Like, so. Uh, <laughs> you, guys, you want some pants? Oh my God. You want some pants? I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, um, how's your, how's your penis doing? That's good. Yeah. Uh, I had you, a little... you, when you, when I, when I walked in today, I, I saw a little fucking smirkety smirk on your face. Yeah. And, and I, I smelt either you went, either you ate at <laughs> Disneyland. <laughs> I, I think you had a lot of sex last night. I'll just, I did. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But, uh, Yeah. It's weird having sex with an ex-girlfriend because you don't know, like... Oh, my. It's like or, opening the Is can. this just sex? Or, like, do you... Are we going to get back together? What do you are, think? I, I feel like it was pretty casual. You're telling me this broad has been the demise and the upbringing of Cody at times. It, and you're that's like... That's the, the truth. And you think that you can bang it out one night and ain't no strings attached? But here's the thing. Because to Shh. me, that's a bit nutty. She was always like, <laughs> fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, I was always gonna, like, please, oh, come on. If I come, I'm sorry. Yeah. And that's not normal for Cody. Yeah. Cody is usually not... The best the, boyfriend? Yeah. Well, I was gonna say a piece of shit, but... I not anymore. <laughs> I used to be yeah. a huge piece of shit. We we have grown. We have grown. I that, feel like that, I've that, learned that, a lot. You have. You have. So but I still don't think she's gonna. So we'll call her uh, J Bones. J, yeah, J Bones. Yeah, we don't for the to... sake of of you getting laid again. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so uh, so you just you just banged it out. She took you home then. <laughs> no, she did not. I had to lift it. But hey. She, had, she was so she, over. It's she, fine. She one night standed your ass. If you're going to use me for sex, that's fine. Because, I mean, she's pretty fucking hot. Because in the end, you're the winner. Because yeah, well, you I got mean, to have sex. I think she came and I didn't. So, honestly, she's the winner in every aspect. So, you, you didn't come? <laughs> no. You're sitting next to me with blued balls. It was, listen, it, the extenuating <laughs> circumstances led to me not being able to come. There was... A scuffle outside, and we just never got back to where we started. Where the fuck were you banging in a fucking... It, it, it was in a barnyard, and there was farm animals. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hide your tits. Yeah. The dogs were barking at us. I mean, it was it was hard to concentrate, but 
I think I got it done for her. I hope. Maybe hey. I didn't. I might just be out of my fucking mind. That's hey, that's good. You know, on on I got to have sex twice last week. Did you so really? Let's cheers to that. Hey. I guess it might have been Father's Day treat, but yeah, you got to get a BJ on on Father's Day. I feel like you got to. Yeah, you got, got to. to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you son of a fucking whore! Jinx. You owe me a Paps Blue Ribbon. So you know, speaking of Father's Day, it was my first Father's Day. Yeah, congratulations. Buddy. Maybe yours. You don't know. I, I mean, I f- I feel like I probably had way more. But I just don't know about it. You know what I mean? I've had several Father's Days, maybe ten you're years. You're gonna of be Father's you're gonna Days. be forty five, and there's gonna be a flock of youth just knocking at your door. Dad, dad. Yeah. Well, I hope they hey. don't. Not unless they have Down syndrome. When they talk like Are that. Are you Cody? Uh, yeah. Dad. Yeah. Somebody uh, had me in Indiana. <laughs> 15 years ago, I just want to see who my real dad was, you piece of shit. I see you're living on a couch still, so I'm going to leave. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's your mom's fault. Get out of here. So, with Father's Day, you know, I didn't expect much present-wise, because I still think Mother's Day trumps the hell out of Father's Day, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I mean, just as national holidays Girls and... Do- and- Mothers do more of the work than fathers. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's, let's Absolutely. Be Father's Day is just, I think a lot of fathers just got pissed that they didn't have a day they could just sit in their underwear and get a blowjob and eat a steak. Yeah. And then they were like, come on, man, we need one day. Yeah. One fucking day. And then whoever, you know, the committee on selecting holidays finally gave in and gave it to the fathers. Yeah. Just one day. Who decides that anyway? Like, who's like, okay, listen up. We're going to get a holiday. It's going to be called Flag Day. No one's going to know really what the fuck it means, but we're doing it. <laughs> Isn't that where you just hold a flag in your hand all day? I have no fucking idea what Flag Day is. Oh, I like it. So, But here, I, do, I just want to say this, and it might offend the single mothers <laughs> that I'll tune in to this weekly, but yeah. Father's Day, to me, it's not for single mothers. I don't know if you saw that on Facebook, the single moms are like, oh, I'm Father's Day, too. I'm a mother and, and a, a father. father. No, you're a mother. And I'm not taking any, any credit away from you. You are great. I know the struggle. I mean, it's a struggle for me and, and Carrie. We, there's two of us. together. I can yeah. only imagine. But you can't have Mother's Day and fucking have Father's Day, too. You yeah. don't have a dick. Where's your dick? I did have sex with a girl who had like an eight-inch clit one time. No. It looked like an... No, actually, it wasn't eight inches, but it looked like a little Atari joystick. When you say that you had sex with her, do you mean that she fucked you? I did. I didn't want to come right out and say that, but she moved it up and eased it in. That is awesome. She was polite. So, you know, a little bit of, uh, more about social media that we're, we're talking about. You know, I, I was looking at Time Hop. You know, do you, have, you probably have Time Hop, right? Yeah. You show up all the time on mine. It makes me laugh because it shows when we used to be in our horrible, shitty either ways or yeah. life or band. Uh-huh. And it said, I, John Neal's Time Hop six years ago was, I am turning to fall. Yeah. Cause that <laughs> you know was, what that means? Yeah. It was... Uh, it was an argued name for our band. We were talking about calling it Turn to Fall. It, you know what we, we picked instead of that? Secondary Dairy Truth. Why? What does that even mean? Are we a gospel band? I don't know. Like Who, came, who really came up with that? What's the first truth? Was my... <laughs> I want to find it, and then I want the secondary response. I don't, I don't understand what it means. <laughs> I just went with it because I was sick of fucking arguing about it. Yeah, you want to call it secondary truth? Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's you know some good uh, some good shit. But let's 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 take it to a real point right now. Let's 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 turn the realness on. We're gonna call this real talk with co with co- with, with Cody and John. Real cocks. Real cocks with Cody and John. Yeah. No, that's way better. <laughs> yeah. Real Cox <laughs> with Cody, with Cody and, John. and John is the new name for it now that I just stutter, stutter, stutter. So, <laughs> so how about how about the old Charleston, South Carolina incident? Yes, yeah, it's, it's bad. I don't. Nine people, nine people shot in a black church yeah. that's been there for over a hundred years. I guess there's always been a 
a big part in the black community. Yeah, yeah. Shot by this this white honky, right? We can call him that because it's racially fueled. So I can say honky right now, right? It's debatable whether it's racially <laughs> fueled. Apparently, yeah. I don't think it's debatable, but other people are saying. I, I guess uh, his name's uh, Dylan uh, Roof. Crime. I feel like he drove to a different town to a specific church full of black people, so there's no way it wasn't racial. He probably had a church and, and no, down the street from fully his house. racial, exactly. Yeah. You know, and, and, and some people are like, oh, is he crazy or is he racist? He's, He's crazy fucking racist. And racist. He's yeah. a crazy racist. He's fucking racist. Especially in those southern states where, like, uh, you know, I don't know if you saw the thing that Jon Stewart had on The Daily Show. Yeah, he, about the rebel flag and shit like yeah. that. Yeah, I watched he, that. He like came out and was like, listen, I don't have any jokes for you. I, uh, yeah, it's I watched all that. Sad, yeah, which is awesome. fucking awesome. Stewart, what was that What was that one thing you had on Jon Stewart, that uh, post? You, I don't oh, know, yeah, it was something. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, you know, I'm from North Carolina. Cody's from Indiana. Yeah. Like, when we were growing up, you know, it, racial slurs were normal. Yeah, like, okay. Like, so there's... To say that, like, racism doesn't... It, of course it does. It but does. But there is a line. Like, even, I grew up on a farm in Indiana, and I heard racist shit all the time. Like, yeah. All the fucking time. Yeah. But, like, would my family members ever go murder people? No. No, absolutely no. not. I feel... I mean, I I have a lot of black friends in North Carolina. <laughs> Fuck, and that's all I hung up. My high school was 60% black. But it was so racially... Still, when you walked into the lunchroom, it was black people sitting with black people, yeah. white people sitting with white people, unless you were fucking cool like me and you could sit wherever the fuck you wanted That's to. That's completely normal, yeah. too. I mean, but it's still there, and it's still a problem. But it's like, you, in the military... It's never not going to be a problem. No. Some people just but, aren't going to understand what's different from them. Some people, you know don't branch out they're not outgoing so they stick with their own kind whether that be hobbies music whatever family religion they'll stick with their own kind and they won't try to diversify at all you know what i mean no yeah yeah but i I feel like nowadays you know even when i was in the military we used to have racial fridays (laughs) where we would all just Say racial slurs to each other. I can't believe they were doing that in the military. Yeah, what are you? T- it's. Fu- I, I I'm mean, just you're- joking. Oh. <laughs> I'm totally can believe they do. But like, isn't the military mostly minorities? Well, it's just a melting pot of everything. I mean, you spick nigger, fucking whitey, honky, fucking uh, cracker, uh, kike, everything. Like that would be a Friday. Like, what up, kike? And people would be like. <laughs> You know, and just talk shit back. So is that is is America by not taking it seriously? That's good. I think the more you joke about, like Dave Chappelle, I feel like was really on to something. Yeah, and then he went fucking insane. I don't, I don't think he did that. I don't either. I, think I, I read something like, about it. I don't, I don't. There was a amount of pressure on his shoulders, and he just didn't want to deal with it. I get that. So yeah, he's like yeah. I'm fucking bouncing out of here. Yeah, but like making it funny. Like, think about when you have a problem. What do you do? When you fight with Carrie or something, you make a joke out of it. Because that's how we deal with problems. Yeah, I fucking, I say, I yell, fuck! And I go in the back room, I do a handstand, and then I jerk off into my own mouth. Every time I have gotten in trouble <laughs> with my, ex, like, whatever it is, making a joke always. It is. A, I, I wouldn't say it fixes the situation, but... But we have a comedy fucking soul. As much as we have music, comedy is embedded in it. I us. mean, hey, for entertainers. And we yeah. So, classes. obviously, in comics, they're going to look at shit differently than is this a race war and this is... But do you, do you think the South is going to rise again? Absolutely not. Yeah, that's the stupidest there's fucking more, thing I've ever heard. There's more good people who don't, like, don't have any agenda on, like, hurting other races than there is crazy motherfuckers with Beatles bowl cuts that are driving to other fucking churches and often people. Yeah. See that you know they cut? Up. You cannot trust somebody that's got a bowl cut like that, no. ever. Like, where'd you get that done? It wasn't great clips. Yeah. It, w- it Actually, it probably <laughs> was great clips. No, it was Fantastic Sam's. Okay. Come on! <laughs> Same shit. Actually, I think it was his mom. And then, like, his uncle gave him the gun. It's like... Yeah. How stupid are you to tell? Well, he wasn't that? drunk anymore. 
That's why. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> listen, listen, Dylan Roof. I know that you just told me your plan to murder a bunch of black people. Here's a forty-five. Yeah. Are you you're you're prompt, you're good to drive? Here's your gun back. Like what a fuck. <laughs> When you go when you go back home and visit Indiana, are how, like are they cultured? Are, like have they changed? Are they still racist? I know when I go back to North Honestly, Carolina, I feel like it's getting better. It's the same to me. When I go back really? to North Carolina, I wore a V neck last time. I went home and like you rich boy with your V neck. You can buy that as a Target for fucking ten dollars for a pack of eight. They don't bro. care. They're like if it doesn't have NASCAR on it and Rusty <laughs> Wallace's name on the back, you don't give a shit. All right. Oh, man. Yeah, it, it hasn't changed, man. I mean, you know, it, it's still... Well, check this out. When I went home, uh, my cousin is a junior in high school, which is a crazy time for anyone. Mm-hmm. But, like, okay, so I'm from a White County. <laughs> Let me... No, seriously. I went to North White High School in White County, Indiana. That's the name of the fucking place? I swear to God. Okay. <laughs> and her <laughs> best friend... She's a sophomore sophomore in high school. Her best friend is a black gay dude in White County. As, is he still alive? Dude, I mean, I got to give that guy props. Yeah. Dude, to be black and gay where in I'm White from County is incredibly yeah. amazing. Yeah. I want to love everyone and I just want Peace. Okay. Mm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's good stuff. That is terrific. <laughs> I just want peace too, bro. For for those of you who didn't know, we just took a little break and, and pissed and, yeah. and smoked a little cigarette. We 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 brought we brought it inside to try to do the podcast yeah, inside, like, but it's not the same vibe. It's not. There's I no like birds chirping, even though it's a hundred and fucking million degrees yeah. outside we're gonna do it outside again next time because i like the sun's dick on the on my back yeah dude i'd fucking when it mushroom stamp on my forehead mm, that's the sun good puts, that's good the sun dips its dick in ink <laughs> and mushroom stamps it on my forehead every time i can see it right now let's yeah. get on it looks real good on it well you think we should pause uh and you know Take a take a word from our sponsor. A- absolutely, quick. absolutely. Okay, here's a, here's a word from our sponsor. We'll be right back. Hey there, cowboys and cowgirls, head on down to Waldo's World of Boots in Apache Junction. We got boots for the boys, boots for the girls, boots for your dog, boots for your cat. You can try out a pair of boots, and boot scoop boogie. You can hit two pair of boots together and be knocking boots. You gotta be kidding me. Come on in this weekend and get two pair of boots for the price of one. Take a load off and grab some moonshine at our famous handlebar saloon. Drop off the kids for pony rides at Waldo's Petting Zoo. I don't believe it. Act now, you'll not only get two for one on boots, We'll also throw in a free saddle for you and yours. No way. You hear that? A free saddle with every purchase of boots. You gotta be kidding me. That's Waldo's World of Boots in Apache Junction. (laughs) Get on out to Apache Junction. Hey, I thank you Waldo's Boots for having our backs. (laughs) Man, that place. I tell you what. It's got good... Stuff. Yeah. It's got good stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> if you got a great game and you need some boots, <laughs> you know where to go. All right. All right. Money. You got damn right. All right. So, welcome back. Uh, you know, we were talking about crazy people fucking shooting up fucking churches and shit and yeah, all that. Yeah. But, well, you know, well, the topic is crazy, so we got to yeah. discuss this. The topic okay. of tonight is it's crazy. So, yeah. But I got to ask you this question, Cody. Is it going to come down to, is there going to be on, on, on the news, this guy, he listened to, to fucking Hoobastank, and then he went and <laughs> fucking shot all these people. Or... Hoobastank is your example <laughs> of all people. Well, I don't want to say Marilyn Manson or Eminem. It's been done. Yeah. When's Hoobastank going to take the fall? I feel... <laughs> I feel like uh, that excuse doesn't work in 2015. Why? Maybe when we were in the 90s, that worked. But I feel like Eminem... Marilyn Manson and all that. Columbine. Eminem set that straight. It's like 
parents use that excuse for their, oh, my kids are rebelling against me. Maybe you fucking suck as parents. I agree with you 100%. Okay. Because I am a parent now. Yeah. And I know that if I let my little girl grow up and do whatever the fuck she's want, she wants to do, it ain't good. No. You got to set boundaries. Exactly. You got to discipline and, and love them. And I think Eminem, yeah, he called parents out and he's like, yeah, blame it on Marilyn Manson. Maybe it's you. And yeah. Maybe it's the parents. Fault. Yeah. No, it, it, I agree 100%. Because so it's you, easy, like, you know, your So kid, you don't think that it'll go there in today's media? I don't, if it does, I'll be really surprised, and we can talk about that next time. But yeah. I haven't seen anything about it. I hope not, because I, I hope that you're right. I just yeah. had to ask the question, because it seemed like there was a point, if something went wrong in today's society, it would be the first fucking thing that the, you know, news I mean, networks would turn to. I mean, it honestly wouldn't surprise me, but I don't think that they'll take that angle ever again. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, all right, I agree. And this is a great segue, you know, Crazy, Crazy is the name of this song yeah. that we're working on, uh-huh. that we're going to do. Uh, we're, have we already finished? Yeah, yeah we're done. I, think I we're, just got to mix the final it a little edit. better and send it in yeah. to get, like, everything you hear on our podcast is, like, rough. It's not professionally mixed and mastered. Yeah. So well, I gotta send all that shit in, and you know, I'll, tr- I'll mix it the best I can. But, sure, sure. But uh, this, this why well, I say this was a great segue because this is you know it's crazy. It has some topics that a lot of people could say hey, that's fucked up, that's insane. Yeah. And and with this guy, if they did bring it to a music or like video game, made him do this. No. There's a th- there's a difference between thoughts and actions. Correct? Well, here's the thing. If I go watch Superman, I'm not going to fucking jump off a 20 story building. But, but you'll I try. I can fly. <laughs> I can fly now. Which Superman, the new one or the old one? I mean, the second one <laughs> with that shitty at the return of Superman. I mean, that's That one was my all-time favorite. So crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy, Are you c- crazy, Casey crazy, and JoJo crazy, right now? Yeah. I'm going crazy, 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 crazy just yeah. thinking about you lately. Yeah. yeah, that's our new song. Go buy it on iTunes right now. It's called crazy, crazy and the JoJo crazy, Sunshine Band. And I can touch <laughs> you. So what is this song about? Okay, we were going to dive into this early, but now hopefully we've grabbed your ear and you're not scared. This so is the time. You're going to ask me about this again when it's actually your idea of a song. I just went with it. Yeah. But, you weren't uh, opposed to it, I'll tell you that. You, okay. It, it was definitely something that hit both of us. For sure. When you sang it to me, I, I'll always remember when you sang it to me the first time at your, when you lived with Rachel. Yeah. Fucking whore. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's it right there. It, it's, uh, okay, we can have these fantasies as people. You don't have to fucking deny it. Doesn't yeah. mean we're ever going to do this. No. But if you're ever a guy and you've been cheated on by a girl. Yeah, that you, you really. You have that fantasy of killing your fucking girl. Absolutely. And not just guys to girls. Girls. Girl, to guys. Oh, I'm sure. Absolutely. Dude. Yeah. I've had death threats, so I know. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure. I mean, a, Whichever girl I, girls I've cheated on in the past, I said girl. Whichever girls I've cheated on in the past, they probably definitely thought about at least dismembering me. Yeah, Maybe not yeah. killing me, but chopping my dick and sack off. Here's a little story. Okay, it's about uh, six years ago. I was. I'll, I'll, her name will be JP. JP. Okay. okay. I got you. Right. I, I'm, I'm following JP. you. Um, we have been going through a lot of issues. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. We've yeah. been going through a lot of issues. I wasn't the best boyfriend. It's a great story. Uh, we can agree to disagree. Oh. Geez. Right? Yeah. So I uh, I cheated on this girl, right? I treated her like shit. I, I have apologized. After I got a daughter, I, I, I did the whole yeah, unburning she told of bridges. Me you did that, actually. Yeah. She, she, I had to because yeah. the way that I was, I can't imagine someone treating my little girl like exactly. that. And I had to reach out Uh anyway so I'm drunk she's drunk I shoot her a text come suck my dick okay just smooth like that (laughs) smooth pure game smooth pure game alright I get a response yeah okay okay so it's going well so far Um, she takes the taxi cab over to my place 
we uh we uh you know start doing the thing she goes down on me and then i uh f- about 4 minutes into the pleasure town i i get an abrupt teething yeah teething bite down this girl clenched on my on my Ouch. penis yeah <laughs> this is right uh so what are you going to do when your dick's getting bitten off uh, I I have no idea. I ha- I didn't Punch know what her to do. In the face. No, well, okay, that happens. Then the cops come. Then I'm like, oh, that's true. I fucking oh, you're going to jail. Your dick's bitten off, but you punched this girl. Uh, I would have been like, look at my cock. Yeah, it's got teeth marks in it. So what I did because I thought you know in this split second I was like, oh my god, what's happening? And then I I went for the eye gouge. Yeah, that's just good. a gentle because it releases. That's a good move for sharks. Yeah. <laughs> Because every, every time I saw her after that, when you told me that, I would go. Yeah. Yeah. So this is how much <laughs> that I drove this girl to be crazy. She actually thought about biting my dick off. She had the cab driver the premeditated waiting. premeditated shit is waiting, crazy. Premeditated. She told yeah. me the cab driver's waiting as a getaway car. Wow. Yeah. Here's the here's the craziest thing. About an hour later, we had sex. <laughs> Anal. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, so this brings us to the craziness of thinking. Now, see, that was an action. Let's not. I'm not telling people. Yeah, dude, that's, that's an way action. worse than just talking about. So it. this song is crazy, and and I got my heart broken. Really bad. And I, it destroyed me at the time. And I wrote a song because I wanted to fucking murder this girl. I That's, did. Yeah. I did. So I wrote it. And, it, you know, the, it, it reminds me of the song by Eminem, uh, Kim. Kim. Kim's song. Yeah, yeah. You know, Absolutely. and I, it was, it's fucking awesome. Yeah. If you can do it in an artistic my, way. Well, like, he, he's the first one to bring that to the table honestly like you hear rappers and shit try and do stuff like that but like he he went into detail about killing his ex-wife yeah, absolutely so all right well i'm gonna i'm gonna play a little bit I'm sing along we're just gonna give you a little intro into okay. the uh the world of the song you know ready okay. You trick me twice You trick me three times I go and grab a fucking knife I'm here to end your life I thrust in, you cry out I twist, you begin to shout Please close your fucking mouth Pills you take, you sleep away. You leave your gun, fly away. The mad had a laugh for no reason at all. Watch me fall. So if if you can just kind of understand, hey, great performance. <laughs> can we get a hand? Can we get a hand in the studio? <laughs> that was good. That was good. You know, and, and we're gonna try to do that. You know, play a little yeah, live music like, so you let, can hear. Why not? It's yeah. about music. Yeah, Let's exactly. Mix. We'll play. You know, we can even like throw a Jack Johnson song or like some other. I'll fucking you know, play. All I can Jack play Johnson some right fucking now. Uh, J Cole songs <laughs> in here. Stack some deck, Patron on eyes. We can fight for the night. That. You like. That's that TI freshness right there. You like. mm. Yeah, we can get that little TI, little J. Cole. Mm, that Whatever sounds delicious. So, look, everybody, we're telling you that this song's crazy. It's about murdering someone. But don't fucking do it. Just write like a song it. about it. I don't care if you go fucking do it. I yeah, because we won't get in trouble. But don't blame <laughs> me for it. Just do it because you're really crazy. <laughs> 
Well, I believe on that. Let's wrap it up. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Uh, I appreciate you guys listening to. Yeah. You know, we got twelve viewers so far. So for the thirteenth one, that's uh, it's not bad. Listen, huh? Yeah, it's not bad. Appreciate you tuning We're gonna in. Bring our best game every yeah. time and try yeah. to make it as entertaining as possible. And look, if you're you know if you're our friends or you're following us on that and you have an idea, shoot us a message on Facebook. Yeah, we're dude. open to anything. This is our Absolutely. third podcast. We're, we always need topics. Yeah. To so about. you know we're diving into this just fucking dicks first. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Just like life. <laughs> yeah. Balls deep. Uh, I'll cheers to that. Cheers to you, buddy. Love you, buddy. Uh, thanks, you guys, for listening. This is Firm's Sorry for Partying, Episodes 3. We'll you take you her, next time. Take her easy. Fingertips Fire Rage Locked in Cage And your blood This has been another proud production of the Four-Eyed Radio Network. You want to see more shows, go check out www.4eyedradio.com, you winkers.